Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back and thank you for joining me. I'm super excited because it's show and tell day. Um, so if you saw my last video, the three times a charm video, um, I told you guys about my wood cutouts and how my wood guy was going to be bringing them. I didn't get a chance to put it in the last video, so I will be showing them to you today. I'm super excited. I've got them all stacked here on the table. And so I'll show them to you one by one and we'll go from there. So the first cutout I have is my orchid. I love orchids. So he cut out and even put in etched in the details in the orchid. So this one is the most fragile, obviously, but once resin goes on it, it'll stiffen it up, which will be good. But I'm loving this orchid. And I have 10 orchids in my house and time permitting, if this video isn't too, too long, um, I will put a little clip at the end, uh, just a little show and tell of all the beautiful orchids I have in my home that are in bloom with beautiful different multiple colors. So stay tuned to the end of the video to see that. So I have the orchid. All right. Next, you all know already, I have the mermaid. So this one's already half done. Well, not half done, but I've been working on it. It's a commissioned piece, but I do have the mermaids. Okay, so there's the mermaid. Next, we have my fairy. So hold on, let me peel this off. There we go, put it on the back because I taped it last night. I got it ready. Um, but look at this fairy, isn't she beautiful? And she's huge too. Like, I mean, all these pieces vary in range um, from size 18 to 20 inches. So depending on the piece, um, but man, they really are big. So here's my fairy, okay? I have two of these, one is already spoken for. So I have one fairy left. Um, I have two orchids, um, one fairy. And so next I will show you my ballerina. So here's my ballerina. I have three ballerinas. This would be totally cute in a little girl's room. Whoever has a little daughter or granddaughter and she's a little ballerina or a dancer, this would be super cute. So there is the ballerina. Next, we have a dolphin. Here's my dolphin. All right, so I have uh, two left of these. There's the dolphin followed by, you guys all saw my unicorn, right? So I asked my guy to make me the unicorn, but take the horn off and just leave it as a horse because I know there are a lot of people out there who own horses and ride horses. So I figured take the um, unicorn off and I had a few of these and they're all sold. So if you want one, um, you can let me know, but, and I can get more. So there's the horse. I can still get the unicorn, but it's now a horse. And then we have the sea turtle. So this one is again, I'm working on it. I've got the back taped. I painted it blue to get it ready for resin, but look how big this thing is like huge. So this is my sea turtle. Um, I have one left. Um, the rest have all sold. Um, deposits have been made. So this is my sea turtle. Ooh. <laughs> so that's the sea turtle. And last but not least, the best part, the best piece, the most popular piece <gasps> is my dragon. Look how cool this thing is. Now, let me tell you, this thing is a pain in the butt, okay? So I had to tape the whole back, then I had to cut around the whole back, um, and then I had to paint it black. Um, so getting in all these little crevices and nooks and crannies was a royal, like, I mean, this took me hours, guys. Like, this is the most time-consuming um, piece that I have, um, which is why it's the most expensive piece. Um, so it's also time consuming for my wood guy. Like this was, took him the longest. So I had, um, five dragons and they're all gone. Uh, they're all sold. All deposits have been made. So for those of you who put down a deposit on a dragon, 
thank you very much and a deposit on all the other pieces thank you very much i will work on them in order of deposits paid okay so if you paid first i'm working on your piece first so um this piece here it uh belongs to beth so i'll be working on this piece in today's video and so if you are interested in any of these pieces i have like i said i have a few left uh there's no more horses but i can get more so if you're interested in any of those let me know shoot me an email canalaseraco at gmail.com um if there's a different shape you want that i do not have let me know i can get it for you um i had a viewer ask me if i could do a black lab uh, silhouette of a dog I can do that I my wood guy can do anything you give it to me I will give it to him and he will make it or just tell me what you want uh, I have another client of mine who wants me to do a flamingo for her and an iguana so I'm working on those as well so the possibilities are endless um, so if you have something else in mind let me know um, prices I know a lot of you are asking how much do these cost depending on the piece or the you know the design they can range anywhere from 250 to 300 bucks okay so it just depends obviously the dragon is the most expensive um but just shoot me an email and we can discuss and we'll go from there all right so i think that's it um i'm so excited to work on these I think I've pretty much sold one of every piece, so I'm going to be very excited, except for the orchid. I haven't sold an orchid yet because no one knows what the orchid looked like, but now you do. So if you're interested in an orchid, let me know. Um, for the rest, I am the ballerina. So I'm very excited to work on these pieces. It's going to be so much fun. Even my wood guy's having a blast cutting these things out because he's never done shapes like this before. So for those of you who've put down a deposit, Thank you so much. I will work on your pieces as fast as I can and in order. Um, and for anyone else who wants to order some, please let me know. I will do a bulk order with my wood guy maybe next week. Um, it's just easier and best if I give him a huge bulk order as opposed to, hey, make me one of these. Hey, make me one of these. All right. So um, I have some dried pieces as well, like my beautiful coral reef piece that is dried. Um, but I'll show you guys those pieces in another video, my next video. I think this is all just going to be too much and the video with resin is going to be really long. So I'm going to try and keep it short. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to set up for resin and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I think I bit off a little more than I can chew on this one. For some reason, I decided I thought I could do two dragons at once. So let me tell you um this took me a long time i mixed my resin i put it all in a cup i added the black and i um oh, so sticky i covered both dragons with the black um it was so hard because these little crevices in here i can't get my finger in there so i had to use a popsicle stick and do all that um, working time with resin, with um, the resin I'm now using, which is crystal resin, to do crystal resin, is about 45 minutes working time. Covering these dragons took me 40 minutes. So needless to say, I better get moving. Um, I covered both of them. I used my heat gun and I warmed it up. So there's the bright side. Um, if you have been working really long, if you just grab your heat gun and just blow it over, um, it will heat up the resin, make it more fluid again. Because when I got to the end of this dragon, the second one, my resin was getting pretty sticky, let me tell you. Um, but I managed it. I got it. Um, for those of you who are interested in crystal resin, it is a Toronto-based company. Um, and I'm so excited that I found this company. Um, they sent me two gallons um, of this which is on the other side of the table, but I have two gallons. If you're interested in any crystal resin, you can um, check out all the information in my description below. If you are in the US and want crystal resin, you can um, contact them directly on their website. They will get in touch with you and you guys can do whatever needs to be done to get the stuff shipped to you in the US, okay? If you wanna know how I did all this, I'm gonna fast forward through all of this. I'm not going to go through all the details 
go and check out my video number 198, I believe it is, the unicorn video. I will link it up at the top. It is a full, and I mean full tutorial, step-by-step -step of how I do resin, how I mix it, what I mix it with, how I, you know, all of it. So just so that I don't have to do this again, go and check out the unicorn video and get all the information you need there. Okay, I have covered my dragons in black. I have mixed up some stunning colors here. Um, this one is called uh, copper. That is gorgeous. So I have copper. Uh, this one I believe is called sand dune. Now, if you are interested in using resin, um, Leslie from Color Art, she's got some awesome um, resin. Oh, something happened to my orange. She's got some awesome resin um, powders and stuff that you can use. So that is um, where you, what happened here? I kind of got a little, okay, alrighty then. Um, check out her website and again, you can save 20% off the entire website using my code Canela120. I have some red here and then I have some gold. All right, now I don't know what happened to my orange. Did I not stir it properly? Something's going down here. Okay, I'm gonna have to mix some more orange. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So luckily I had some uh, little bit of clear resin left and I mixed, mixed some more orange. I'm not quite sure what happened there, but anywho. All right, so I've never done this before. This is all new to me. Um, I don't know how the colors are gonna look. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drizzle um, colors all over the dragon. And then we will heat it up and blend. There is no rhyme or reason for what I'm doing or where I'm putting the color. I don't really, you can't really be too particular about how this stuff goes because once you blend it it's just all gonna go everywhere anyway oh it's cool looking okay let's do this side so as i was saying um i got totally kerfuffled there um, you can check out Leslie's website, Color Art website, and you can find products for resin on her website. Again, you can save 20% off everything off the site using code Canela120. All right. Okay, so don't do what I did and try and do two pieces at once. Clearly, this was not a good idea. I was trying to kill two birds with one stone, um, and that was not um, a very good idea. Um, I'm trying to get all these pieces that people have put deposits down for done so that I can get them to you guys as soon as possible. I think I have like 12 pieces I need to do right now uh, so far. So I thought, oh, I'll try and do this and do two at a time. I don't know if that was such a brilliant idea. Probably not the greatest idea because my resin is getting tacky yeah it's it's getting really sticky and really stringy so yeah I waited way too long to do this so don't do what I did please oh this is what is going on all right the trials and tribulations of resin, people. It's like string. It's like silly putty. 
I promise I will get this and I promise I will make it look good. All right. So what day is it today? Friday. Today's Friday. Um, for those of you who are um, interested in the um, those abstract pieces I was doing, those are in the process of being done. I'm recording as I go. So that is almost finished. So you'll get to see a video on that shortly. Okay, I am going to pause this and finish working. I might even mix some new resin. So let me work on that and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I went ahead. Ooh, I did not mix any resin. Uh, I didn't wanna waste any more. It's sticky, let me tell you. I should not have done two dragons, okay? Bad, bad idea. Um, so anywho, I poured the rest, as you can see. I've made a complete mess, but that's okay. So now what we need to do is we need to heat it up and then blend it all, okay? So this is gonna be a little bit of a process, but I'm not gonna fast forward through this, but you can if you want, all right? So I need to heat it up, constantly moving my heat gun, okay? Heat it all up and then I'm going to blend it. All right, so this, this is gonna take a while. So I will do the one dragon and then I'll pause and do the other one and then I'll come back and show you guys the results. There's no sense in doing both because you know, it's the same thing. Oh, this is pretty though. What a mess though. Like I, I really should not have done two dragons. So while I'm doing this, um, if you are watching and you are a new watcher, please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it and uh, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you are notified when new videos are posted. And all the information you need to know is listed in the description below. Um, so my Amazon shops, my PayPal link for anyone who would like to donate to my channel smoking a little here whatever you do do not burn your resin constantly keep moving once you warm it up you can then blend it Um, what else? Uh, the giveaway for the charcuterie board on my Instagram page. Winner will be announced tomorrow. So if you uh, participated in that, stay tuned to see who wins. Good luck to everyone. Let me see. What else? Now is a good time to talk, but I can't think of anything to talk because I'm busy concentrating. A lot of people said in my last video, oh, thank you so much for showing us that even people like me fail. Look guys, I'm just like you. I'm no one special. I'm a painter and all that, just like you guys. I fail many times. I'm not perfect. And if I can't show you guys my failures, then everything is a lie then, you know what I mean? 
So that's why I do that as I show everyone that things aren't always perfect. Okay. Oh, wow. This looks so neat. I'm loving it. Okay. I'm going to put you guys on hold. I will do the other dragon and then I'll bring you guys down for a close up. Okay. So give me a minute. All right, guys, the dragons are finally done and I'm so happy with the results. Look at those colors. It's like fire breathing dragon here. I'm super, super excited. So if anyone is interested in any of the wood cutouts, please email me, canelaseraco at gmail.com. A deposit is required in order for me to work on a piece for you. So please keep that in mind. Um, I will continue on the rest of the pieces in order of how payment was made. So I'm going to be pretty busy for the next little while. But uh, and if you want to know the full details of the whole resin and how you do the do's and don'ts, don't forget, check out my unicorn video number 198. All right, you'll get the full full tutorial there. All right, so I think that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was interesting for you guys. And I think that's about it. All the information is listed in the description below. That's it for now, guys. I'm out of here. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I will see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye. So here are three that I have. This one, and I don't even know. Some of them are pretty old. Some are newer. This one's so pretty. It's hard to see with the light in the background. And then this little guy here. I wonder if I have the date on the back. Sometimes I write the date. Nope. On the back of when I get them. So that's three. And these ones are in the laundry room. Sitting here on the windowsill. So let's go check out the rest. This one is in my son's room because it belongs to him. It was gifted to him when um, he was in the hospital and had throat surgery. Don't, that's such a long story. Um, but so September 2018. So he was gifted this by a friend. So that is in his room. That one's really pretty too. And this one is in my daughter's room. Let's see, do I have a date on this one? Nope. So she definitely loves horses, as you guys know. <laughs> um, this is hair from one of her favorite ponies at the barn. Um, but she's got this beautiful purple one. And then on this side, she's got this one. So this one's pretty interesting as well. Date on this one? Nope, no date. So she's got two in her room. So pretty. All right, moving along. Then we have the one in my room. So it's kind of got a greenish yellow um, color to it. This one's just sitting here up on my dresser with my sea turtle from St. Lucia. And then we come, hi, <laughs> into the bathroom where I have this one on the tub ledge and no date on that one either i know some of them have dates so there's that one as well so pretty all right two more to show you all right and here are the last two these are on my dining room table so we have this beautiful one here such pretty colors and then this one is about ready to bloom and i'm pretty sure i can't remember what color this one is but this one i've had since june 2019 so there you have it 
my orchid collection. I have, what is that, 10? 10 orchids and for some reason, knock on wood, I managed to keep them live and in full bloom year after year. So there you have it. I can't wait to do the wood orchid in resin. See you later.